welcome back to Disturbed Reality. Once again we delve into the brutal narcos world involving Mexican drug cartels. The graphic video that contains numerous executions dates back to around 2019. The brutal video comes from a criminal cell by the name of Grupo Sombra, who were formed in 2017 as a heavily armed franchise of the Gulf Cartel. The heavily weaponized Grupo Sombra are primarily based in the northern part of the state of Veracruz. Ever since their inception in 2017, Grupo Sombra have become very well known in Veracruz for their willingness to battle, for their brutal execution and torture methods, some of which they like to record and upload onto social media to spread fear in their rivals' hearts. As the years have passed since their inception, Grupo Sombra, much like the Los Aitas, have now split from the Gulf Cartel and are basically doing their own thing. Much like the Los Aitas, Grupo Sombra, their influence increased, and much like the case of the Los Aitas, this created internal infighting within the Gulf Cartel, which honestly really doesn't come at a big surprise because ever since the Osiel Cardenas era, the Gulf Cartel has been plagued with infighting, civil wars, most notably the Gulf Cartel versus the Los Aitas, but also amongst powerful individuals within the cartel and obviously with this new group, Grupo Sombra. But nevertheless, Grupo Sombra decided to split and they are now doing their own thing. As of right now, the tension between the Gulf Cartel and Grupo Sombra is not the same as it was with the Los Aitas. But nevertheless, these two rival factions don't see eye to eye. Grupo Sombra is also currently at war with the CJNG and according to some reports in which I've seen, they are actually doing quite well in these gun battles. So despite being quite a small cartel, they are extremely well armed, they appear well trained, and they are certainly holding their own. And considering where CJNG is at right now, you know, they're involved in multiple wars, they are basically being stretched on all fronts, and many people speculate that we may see the end of CJNG sooner rather than later. If that does happen, that leaves a big vacuum for other groups to assume that power that CJNG once had, and Grupo Sombra would certainly be a group who is vying for some of that power. All in all, when you look at some of these newer cartels formed within the last four or five years, I think Grupo Sombra is arguably best placed to really grow within the next few years. Hopefully that isn't the case because these guys are extremely brutal, they're extremely violent, and they lead with an iron fist. Hopefully the Mexican authorities really get a hold on the narco wars and make some improvements, make some progress to try and stop this violence because ultimately, yes, they can get rid of one cartel, let's say CJNG for example, they can get rid of CJNG, but it really doesn't change much because all that means is that there are numerous cartels vying for that power that the CJNG, for example, once had. That's going to create more wars and more bloodshed. There's more to it than just going after individual drug traffickers, individual drug cartels. The situation is so complex, I wouldn't really know where to start with solutions. I've got a few ideas, but maybe that's for another video. But nevertheless, what happens in the actual video? The video is shot during the middle of night, in the middle of nowhere. The video shows multiple heavily armed Grupo Sombra members. They are carrying various assault rifles and bladed weapons such as machetes, axes and pickaxes. The cartel members are also wearing combat vests, which include the cartel logo and the acronym for Grupo Sombra, which is F-E-G-S. The video opens up and it shows that the cartel have four captives. The captives have had their hands tied behind their backs and their eyes covered. The cartel refers to these men as Chapolines. I believe in cartel lingo, that essentially means that you switch sides, essentially that you are a traitor. That's what I've been told at least. 
Anyway, the first minute of the video is essentially the cartel members giving a warning to similar people that essentially this is what is going to happen to you. They also mention a few people by name, including a man by the name of El Canelo, which was kind of interesting in my opinion because I'm a big boxing fan and, you know, arguably the most famous boxer right now is Saul Canelo Alvarez. But nevertheless, the first minute of this video is them just giving their warning. Let's have a listen. Any Spanish speakers in the comments, if you could translate, it would be much appreciated. And I will pin one of those comments so that everybody can see it. After the opening segment finishes, the violence then commences. I have to advise that this video is extremely brutal, and I certainly wouldn't recommend that you check it out. But nevertheless, the four captives are pushed to the ground so that they are laying on their stomachs, and at this point, the executions commence. The cartel members brandish various bladed weapons, including axes, pickaxes, and razor-sharp machetes. The cartel members then proceeded with the executions, and these executions were not quick. They were all complete hack jobs. Sometimes when you watch these sort of videos, the job gets done within 10 seconds when it comes to a beheading, but these guys were hacking away with machetes, axes, and it seemed like they were taking their time. As this is happening, the video has been dubbed by a Hispanic rap song, so it's hard to hear what is going on, but the visuals are more than enough. The victim to the left of the camera is executed the quickest, his head is removed with four to five hard brutal axe blows. The two victims in the middle of the four are made to suffer a bit longer. One of the victims has his neck hacked and sliced away at with a machete until he passes away, and the other also gets the axe treatment but this guy using the axe isn't as efficient as the first guy. He's missing some of his swings, he's not making full connection, and essentially, the bad job that he's doing is making it that much more worse for the victim. Eventually, that victim also passes away. The camera then pans to the victim on the right, and this is definitely the most drawn out and brutal part of the video, and I do wonder whether this guy done something extra bad to the cartel, because this execution is very drawn out, and for this execution, the dubbed music in the background actually stops, and you can hear everything that is going on. I hear the term blood curdling scream a lot, and that's exactly the sound that describes the screams of this victim. Essentially, they hack away at his neck with the machete, He's still alive at this point, then they start hacking away at his torso with a machete and also a pickaxe, and all throughout this he's screaming and he can feel every single swing. And again, it's extremely hard to describe in words how bad the screaming is. The screaming eventually stops when the cartel member with the pickaxe completely drives it through his back. At this point in time, the cartel member with the machete starts poking the victim with it to check whether he's still alive. Despite the fact that the victim has now stopped screaming, it does appear in fact that he is still alive. You can see slight movements when he's prodded with the machete. At this point, they then essentially finish him off. They start hacking away at his neck with an axe until he's dead. At this point in the video, all of the victims are dead, and essentially, from here, you see the cartel members dismember the bodies, remove all of the victims' heads, and just essentially hack away 
at what is left of their bodies. And essentially that is the video. Right at the end of the video, you do actually see a photo of the cartel members basically posing in front of the big pile of body parts. And then the video ends. It's definitely a brutal one. It actually reminded me a lot of some of the old school Los Satas executions. Just sheer brutality, violence, and all in all, just a horrible video that I wouldn't recommend you guys watch. As I mentioned previously, this was the first time I'd ever heard of Grupo Sombra as a cartel, and there's not too much information available on them, but unfortunately they do have similar videos available online, including one where they cook human remains. So these guys aren't messing around. They may be a smaller cartel, but they are extremely organised and extremely violent, and they seem to be having some success right now in the narco world. So watch out for Grupo Sombra in the next few months. And yeah, all in all, this is just another really sad case and another example of the brutality that is the narco world and the failure that is the war on drugs. I feel like I say the same thing at the end of all of these cartel videos, but ultimately, what else can be said? All I can say is something needs to change. There needs to be a change of strategy or something when it comes to these drug cartels, because whatever they are doing clearly isn't working. And we're going to continue to get brutal cases like this, and even worse, you know, general civilians are being caught up in this and their lives are being turned upside down. One of my dreams for this channel would actually be to go to Mexico and see firsthand what sort of effect this is having on the Mexican people. Whether that be on this channel or me linking up with somebody else, it's something I really want to do. I appreciate that the nature of this channel is extremely dark and many people will say nothing good can come from a channel like this. I don't necessarily agree, but I totally understand the argument, but I do want to do something that is genuinely useful and something that can be used to inform people on just how bad the situation is in Mexico and how many innocent people that it is affecting. Because in my opinion at least, it's not a story that is being told enough in mainstream media. But anyway, I thought I'd put that out there in the universe just to see what you guys think. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you can enjoy this sort of content. Once again, I appreciate all of the support, all of the encouragement that you guys have given me. It really is appreciated, and it keeps this channel alive, really. It keeps my motivation up, and yeah, you guys really are the lifeblood of this channel, and I just wanted to thank you. But as always, Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.